Hello, and welcome to Catching Up with the Clemenses, brought to you by the Mark Twain House and Museum in Hartford, Connecticut. I'm Erin. I coordinate school programs at the house. And I'm Jody. I care for the museum's collections. I'm here in the library of the house because today we're going to talk all about reading in the Clemens family, especially the reading done by Susie, Clara, and Jean. As we learned in the last chapter, learning how to read was an important part of the girls' education when they were young. From an early age, the Clemens girls learned to read and speak in two languages, English and German. Do you speak more than one language? Does anybody in your family? Some of the books they read when they were young are stories that might be familiar to you, like Bambi, Robin Hood, and Aesop's Fables. Even though they learned to read on their own, they loved being read to by their parents. When she was an adult, Clara fondly remembered her mother reading Twas the Night Before Christmas to her and her sisters before they settled down to sleep, or at least tried to sleep, on Christmas Eve. As they grew, they chose books to read on their own. So what did they like to read? They loved to read books about history, English and French especially, but also recent U.S. history. And they even turned some of these histories into their own plays. But they also really liked to read biographies of historic figures. Susie and Clara were musicians, and they enjoyed biographies of famous composers like Liszt and Beethoven, whose pieces they liked to play on the piano. Sam Clemens was famous for writing about his travels, and his daughters loved to join him on those travels around the world, but they also liked to read about travel. And if you saw our Pets episode, you know the Clemens family loved animals. So it's no surprise that Clara received four volumes from a set of books called Our Living World as a Christmas present from her father when she was 11. The series contained volumes on mammals, insects, birds, reptiles, fish, and other sea creatures. The girls also read a lot of novels, short stories, and poetry. Some of the authors they read are people whose work you might still read today, like William Shakespeare, Sir Walter Scott, Elizabeth Barrett Browning, Alfred Lord Tennyson, and Charles Dickens. The girls especially loved to read poetry and then recite it out loud for each other, sometimes from memory. Are there any poems you can recite from memory? Reading out loud didn't stop when they were old enough to read on their own. In fact, in the 19th century, it was very common for adults to read out loud to each other all the time. Those who are listening might also be playing a game of checkers or mending clothes at the same time. Listening to a friend or family member read something to you or even recite from memory was a real treat. Books were a very common birthday and Christmas present at the in the Clemens family, like those books on animals Erin mentioned earlier. When Susie was 14, she received four signed books from their neighbor here in Nook Farm, the famous author Harriet Beecher Stowe. You can see three of those books from Mrs. Stowe here on Susie's desk. The Clemens family shared books by reading out loud to each other, by giving them as presents, and also by recommending them to each other. But sometimes the girls read books their mother had read when she was their age. For instance, Livy Clemens read a biography of the author Charles Kingsley in 1877. Right around the same time she was reading Charles Kingsley's book, The Water Babies, to Susie and Clara. Then, 10 years later, in 1887, Clara read that same biography to learn about the author of one of her favorite books from childhood. Are there any books you love that you know your family members read when they were younger? When it was cold outside, everyone in the Clemens family loved to curl up in the library by the fire with a good book. But reading wasn't the only winter time activity they liked. In the next chapter of Catching Up with the Clemenses, we'll learn about what the family, especially Susie, Clara, and Jean, like to do outside in the winter. What winter activities would you try if this was your yard? <laughs>